Jesse, here we are at Parliament, but this is not, this is a happy place mm. with the People's Parliament, but for you, you've had a really rugged time. Tell us what's happened. Um, I, I got the vax in December, November. And why did you get it? Was that because you wanted it or because no, you felt forced? I felt forced. Like, I wanted to go to the gym. You can't get in the gym without a vax, so. Because you, you're a real athlete. What do you do sports-wise? I'm not an athlete, no. Ah, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just super I've fit. <laughs> super fit. And, and you do what? Boxing? Yeah. So, you, so to do boxing as a woman, you really have to be pretty strong. So yeah. how would you have said your fitness was? prior to the vax? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, like how many press-ups? Give us an idea. Oh, I don't know. I can do a lot though. A lot? But ever since I got the vax, like my, I can't run for as long, like I can't breathe properly when I'm training. So take me, to that day, take me to the day you had it. Did you feel that straight away that something wasn't right as the needle went in? Or when you went home that night, did you feel it? Or when did you first notice? Maybe like the next day. The I next felt day. sick, yeah. How, what do you mean by sick? Like like nauseous in your stomach? No, like bad headaches, um, body aches. Like I just didn't fa feel right. So I couldn't train for like a week or so after yeah. my first one. And then um, I got better. Then I got my second and the same thing. The headaches came back? Yeah, I just felt like run down. Very tired. That's yeah. something I'm hearing a lot. Yeah. Did you have any sounds in your ears or or sort of paralysis down anywhere, or any anything that um, gave you bad headaches and stopped you sleeping well? A lot of people Just are talking about body aches. That. Yeah, my whole body was sore, I don't know, but I've had um, chest pain ever since, and then I got, um, just randomly a few weeks back, real bad chest pain, it was like stabbing, and then I fainted. So oh, I ended yeah. up at hospital for about five days. And what did they say? They said it was from the vet. They confirmed that? Yeah. I got them on video saying it's from the vet. And when, when you left, did you get the discharge papers? You need to get your hospital discharge papers. No. Because they should say on there, it's from the vet. Yeah, I, I've, I took photos of my notes. Good. That says it's from the vet. Yeah. Great. But so I don't have my discharge papers yet. Try and get them because they should say on there, from the vet. Yeah. Then you can take that to ACC. But I've how, got photos of my notes saying that. So. Great. But how is the heart now? How's your health now? Um, I feel okay. I just, I can't seem to get my same fitness back. Like I can't breathe properly when I train. Yes. Yeah. Is it like a heavy weight on your, on your... It's like, oh, how do I explain it? Kind of, yeah, yeah. I had pericarditis and I felt like I had concrete on my chest. Yeah, it's like... I had that years ago. And sort of tight, sort of feels tight, tight. yeah. And so are you being able to do your sport at all, or is it completely stopped? Um, yeah, I still do it. <laughs> but it's hard to, you're very It's harder, short. yeah. What else Definitely. are you getting? What other symptoms? How is the head pain? I was getting, like, I randomly get bad headaches, and I, I've never, ever, ever had a problem with headaches. But what? now all of a sudden I'm getting headaches. And any other symptoms, Jess? Anything else you're feeling? Nah, that's about it. I think... So far, what are, what are you feeling inside? What do you what's your sense of your body? Because when you're an athlete, you know your body. Does it feel just different? Yeah, I feel like way less fit. <laughs> and like what, I get tired way quicker. You smile, but inside, I'm really crying for you. This is to me, this is not right. Yeah. What's your feeling emotionally about what this government has? Put you in. Oh, here. I'm pretty pissed off. <laughs> Can you say that, like, be really real down that camera? If our Dern was here, seriously, say you've got one chance to send a message and it's not laughing, it's actually being right what you feel in the middle of the night, what you would say to her. Say it so powerfully down that camera, just send her our Dern. This is what I feel about what you've done to me. Um, this is disgusting. <laughs> Good. It's That's what? Not about laughing, it makes me cry. Yeah. You've got four children. Yeah. How are you coping with them? Um, I'm okay. Help. See, you're staunch. You're staunch, <laughs> aren't you? I like to think so. <laughs> but it may not be the right thing, Jess, for yeah. other Kiwis who want you to speak your truth, really, in the middle of the night. What is yeah. that feeling that comes? What is it that you feel that's true? I regret getting the vax, that's what I feel. 
my and I get angry that my fitness has been affected. Yeah. Because I used to be able to run like for a long time. Now I can't even run a K without getting tired. Is yeah. it like you can't get the breath in there? Yeah. Like I can't breathe properly. It's my breathing. Are you having depression with this? Is there some of that coming up? Nah, I'm quite a positive. I don't really get depressed, but yeah. How are your kids coping with it all? They're all right. Like, because I was in hospital for a while, so they all had to start school late. So it was a bit of a hassle, but they're good. Yeah. Did they help you in hospital at all? Okay, so so what do you want for New Zealand from all of this in in this in this wonderful process? What did you come here thinking? This is how I'd like New Zealand to go. What if I said I can grant you anything that you would like? What would you like? Everybody's freedom back. Like no more mandates, um, no forced facts, just normal life. <laughs> and anything else to say to the PM? Um, Write down that. Camera. I won't say it. <laughs> say it. Say it. Fuck you. No. Yeah. Thank you. It was yeah. honest. Thank you, Jeff.